thought you put Nicole straight. Then Tanya got in on the case. She'd rather sacrifice Gerald than face defeat. And has he been told yet? I hope not. It'd be better coming from me. Why should you be the one to break the bad news to him? Because I talked him into it in the first place. I wish I'd never thought of it now. There he is. How does it look? Hi. Hey. Morning. Now, if you're thinking of buying salad stuff for the barbecue, don't bother. <laughs> I went a bit mad. <laughs> What's on the other one? Ten cast sausages? Top of the range indoor court shoes. I just, I couldn't help myself. All right, who wants another coffee? I'm buying. No, thanks, mate. All right. I can't tell him now, can I? You're like popping his balloon. I know what the game can do to people. I know how it can make them greedy. I sought my bosses out and I wanted a piece of it, so I stole from them. It cost me a hefty beating and a nasty bout of amnesia. It's not a world I'd ever want to go back to. I have to. My sister's still there. Doing what you used to do. We were a couple of smart-ass chicks off on our OE. We didn't know a thing. First chance at some easy money and we took it. We thought we'd give it a year and then hit London with cash in our pockets. Didn't turn out that way. Let me guess, the guy you were working for got rich quicker than you did. A luck Kasamson. The Sunshine Go-Go Bar. He got Erica hooked on smack. She ended up owing thousands. I tried to get her off, but... when I said we were leaving, he wouldn't let her go. Not until one of us paid off her debts. And I couldn't, but I couldn't stay there and watch her fall apart either. And then you made sure. Trust me. I'm not just after a fast buck. I'm trying to save my sister. All set? Almost. That's right. Today's the day. Helga to the rescue just in time for flu season. So we're going to be busy for the next few months. I could have told you that much. That's a detail that's really impressive. If it can forecast patient flow down to the next few hours like it says it can, it's going to be a big help. I wonder if it can tell us what the calf's got on for lunch. That would be useful. <laughs> oh, she wants you. Now, what? She's telling me I need more nurses for the next few hours. Quick, run. No, uh, not here in ED. Helga's predicting an influx of patients. Based on what? Uh, figures from last year, probably. It's all guesswork. Who are you going to call? <sighs> Nobody. You have to. It's protocol. Whatever Helga wants, Helga gets. It's too late to call anyone now. I'll stay on myself and beg Tracy for a favour. Tell Yvonne I'm sorry, but we can't make it. And no JJ either? He had a play date with his little friend down the road. I gave him the option. But his little friend has better toys than his nana. Mm. <laughs> Something like that. What a shame. Oh, I wanted my whole family to be here. You're not going to spring a wedding on us, are you? No. I won't mention it again. <laughs> I'm not staying here all day. I've got work to do. Just half an hour to be polite. Hiya. Hello. This is very nice, isn't it? Mm. Any idea what the big occasion is? The start of winter. Oh. No, I think it's just Yvonne and Ben finally feeling relaxed enough as a couple to entertain. And here's another happy couple by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. Did Sarah tell you she's going to be a grandmother? There's always one, isn't there? Hey? Prawns on a stick. What prawns bought those? <laughs> you think that's bad? Check them out. What the hell are they? Marinated tofu. Lauren's contribution. But Ben up. Now we're talking, bring on the tom sauce and the white bread. I think she needs a drink, mate. Who? The hottie. You'll be working with her soon enough if you're lucky. She started at the Ambos last week. Her name's uh, Mary. Or Miriam or something. Can't say hi. No, why torture myself? But be careful, you're burning the tofu kebabs. Where's Tracy? Follow the sound of the rumbling tummy. She's been talking about food all morning. I had a tiny breakfast this morning because I knew I was going to peg out this afternoon. Are we off? Off to the cafe, maybe. I'll buy you some lunch. What about the barbecue? I've got a couple of steaks in the staff room for Good. We'll need something for dinner when we stay at home after a double shift. No. Don't blame me, blame the software. Please. Ah, there he is. Right. That's me out of here. Hey, um, 
I'll give Ben and Yvonne your love, shall I? I, I could give them your steaks. I mean, it's probably better on the barbecue, you Get know. Get out of here. Oh, hang on. Looks like Helga's trying to tell you something. <clears throat> oh, you're in for a busy afternoon. Oh, great. Mm, busy enough to need an extra pair of hands. Looks like I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> What is it with me and barbecues? Mm, there's something primal going on, that's for sure. Man hungry. Man hunt beast. Man make fire. Man throw beast on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Yvonne. I think he's about to club you over the head and drag you to his cave. Or his pergola. <laughs> <laughs> Have you eaten yet? In a minute. Where's your wedding ring? I thought it was time. I guess I have to go into hot to get a replacement then. Oh, get away, you cheeky thing. Married enough to me. They do, don't they? So what do we know about St Cats? Sorry? Netball. What's their team like? Oh, last time I played, vicious. They like to win. So do I. No iron team, remember? I'd be happy if there were no Gerald in the team. Hmm. I know, it sounds awful, and your mum's already had a go at me for it, but... I'm sorry. He's not that bad, is he? He's only managed to drop the ball every time someone's passed it to him. It's true. Come on, guys. He's only been playing a few days. Yeah, if we had a few weeks to train him up, maybe. But we don't. Our first game's next week. What are you going to do? Let him down gently. Come on, then. What's a nice way of saying, Gerald, you're useless? Why am I here? We have been pretty busy. She's right. If he hadn't had that heads up from the computer, we'd have been calling in for extra staff halfway through the shift. Mm, it's slacking off now, though. Helga, explain yourself. Maxwell, I could use a uh, second opinion over here. Sure. Retrosternal chest pain for the last hour. Uh, you were saying? How long are you planning on keeping me in here anyway? Who is it? It's me. Can I come in? Whatever it is you want, I'm not interested. How come you've changed rooms? What do you care? I don't. I read the bus room. I can charge a top dollar for it. Forget it. I'm not here to talk. I just need my passport. You're yeah, full. I'm going to Sydney to see Mum. Wait, I, I don't want you coming in here. Well, don't look at me like that. How, how would you feel if I came barging into your room at Callum's? You'd be screaming blue murder. I still need my passport. Fine, I'll get it for you. Have a safe flight.